Manja, manja, bon appetit, let's eat. It's time for Tank's Cooks. Manja, manja, bon appetit, let's eat. It's time for Tank's Cooks. It's time, it's time, it's time once again for Tank's Cooks. Okay, you know what we're doing today? We are making a meatloaf. Yes, that's right, we are making a meatloaf. And thing you need first is a pound of meat. Yes, indeed, a pound of meat. So we cut open our package. La la la. Meatloaf, meatloaf, we're making meatloaf. We plop it into our mixing bowl. There you go. We pound it a little bit. We pound our meat a little bit. So we break it up nicely. Da 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 dee 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 do 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 do. There it is, broken up little pretty little little pieces here. All right, we'll put these gloves on eventually. Let me rinse that off a little bit. Yeah, there you go. See, I wash my hands occasionally. There you go. All right, now we're gonna add our spices. You know what this is. Waking up the food flavors accent. Da -da -dee -dee. I kind of like like this thing I got sent. This is something that was sent to me, Brookhouse Meat Company. It's got salt, pepper, onion, and garlic. So, jing dee 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 da 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 da. Woo doo doo, boo boo. Get our little lemon pepper. Lemon pepper. We're gonna put a packet of of onion soup in there. Onion soup. Coop coop coop. Onion soup. Loop loop loop. All right. Yes, indeed. Look at that. Doesn't this look enticing? All right. Now we start adding other ingredients. I like to put a little steak sauce on my meatloaf. Da -da -da -da. Let me get this label off. Let me get this label off. Uh, if I could ever get the top off. There we go. All right, and we put a little couple of gloops of this in there. Gloop, 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 gloop. I uh, usually like to use Heim 57 sauce, but this steak sauce is pretty good. All right. We're gonna put a cup of breadcrumbs in. Breadcrumbs. Yes, indeed, a cup of breadcrumbs. Here we go. One cup of breadcrumbs. Splick, click, 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 click. We're gonna take a can of tomato sauce. Tom, you say tomato, I say tomato. Tomato sauce, we pour about two thirds of the can in, maybe uh, three quarters. We put the tomato sauce to the side. Look at this. Doo -doo -doo. Continue to mix this up like that. Look at that. <laughs> All right, now we put in two eggs. One Iggy Wig. Come on, easy egg cracker. And two Iggy Wigs. Okay. Now this is done, comes the mixing part. 
La 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 get the gloves on, get the gloves on, get the gloves on to mix the meatloaf. Yes, that's right. We're gonna be sticking our hands all the way in. Look at this. La 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 la. Mix it around. La dee 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 dee. Turn it around, spin it around, flip it around. Rip it da da dee. Get both hands to mix the meatloaf. La 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 la. Mixing the meatloaf, mixing the meatloaf. It's another meatloaf. Mix the meatloaf. Da da dee dee. Mix the meatloaf. How do we mix the meatloaf? And there it is. Look at that. Doesn't it look nicely mixed? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take our meatloaf pan. We'll get our... We'll take the gloves off for a second. Get our meatloaf pan. Do... Ba boo boo boo, get the meatloaf pan. Here's our little meatloaf pan, look at this. There we go. Spray in some Pam. Then we flop the meatloaf into the pan. Then we flop the meatloaf into the pan. Come on. It doesn't want to go into the fucking pan. That's its home. All right, so get the glove out. This is thing is being stubborn. All right, we'll take the meatloaf and flop it into the meatloaf pan. There it is, see, it's in the meatloaf pan. Then we're gonna pat it down so it spreads evenly in the meatloaf pan. Pound this meat. Pound, pound, pound the meat. Pound, pound, pound the meat. There it is, 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 there it is. Da, da, da. Pound the meat now, pound the meat. We're gonna pound this meat just right. Spread it out, make sure it spreads evenly in the pan, that there's no gaps in here. This way it cooks evenly, comes out brilliantly. Tap it up over here, and this end, and this end, and this end, this end, and squish it down, squish it down, squish it all around. All right. Here we go. We'll take that last bit of tomato sauce and pour it on top. And then we'll spread it all up on top of it. La 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 Now, we can't cook this now. No. This has to sit in the refrigerator for at least, at least six hours so it could emulsify. So we're gonna take a, a piece of foil. If the foil wants to come out, look at this. Uh, and cover the uh, dish and put it into the fridge and let it sit and cool and chill. And then we'll be able to cook our meat. You know, meatloaf is a good meal. You could prepare it the night before, you could pair it before you go to work, and you come home, you preheat the oven to 350, and then you stick it in the oven. Stick it in the oven, 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 stick it in the oven for 65 minutes. Alexa, set a timer for 65 minutes. One hour and five minutes, starting now. All right, we're gonna heat up the gravy we made with our roast beef last time we had tanks cooks. Now you look, it looks kind of gelatinous. Well, to get it back to be a gravy form, you have to add some water.
That should be enough water. And then we'll cook this up for about 20 minutes and it should be a nice gravy. All right, let's see how the meatloaf looks. We're gonna take it out of the oven and let it sit for about five, 10 minutes. And then we'll be ready to cut it up and plate the meal. And meanwhile, look at our gravy. Look at that. See, didn't I tell you that will look like a nice gravy? Gravy! All right, the meatloaf has been resting for about 10 minutes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on a serving dish so we can plate the meal. And what you do is you cut around here so it just Scrape off all the ends of the sides to try to get the meatloaf to come off as solidly as possible. All right, we'll put this on top and we'll flip it around. Turn the plate around. Ooh, it's still hot. Here we go. Flop. It flopped worse than the Met season this year. Here we go. The meal, time to play the meal. Let's cut off a nice end piece. I love the end pieces, of, by the way, of the meatloaf. It always is the best, a little crispy, a little crunchy. So I'm gonna eat the end pieces first. Time to plate the meal. Time to plate the meal. Get some nice mashed potatoes. Now it's time to add some gravy. Gravy. Gravy! Gravy! Here we go. Doesn't this look nice? Mm -mm -mm. All right. Let's see how the meatloaf came out. Love that little crust that's on the end. Fantastic, and it's not that hard to make. Until next time, manja manja, bon appetit, let's eat.